It is such a good day. Why does why does Gerard Gallant keep calling him Shesky? What? Shesky. Shesky, play the intro. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Glove Drop. It is a great day to be a Rangers fan. Seems lately that most days it's been great to be a Rangers fan. New York Rangers coming up with a 3-2 win over the LA Kings last night in a shootout. Oh, Adam Fox. He is, in my opinion, the next Brian Leach. This kid can do everything, and that puck is definitely still up in the net. He went top shelf. Grandma keeps a peanut butter. It is not coming down. It will be there forever. Adam Fox in the sixth round of the shootout wins it for the New York Rangers after what was a very entertaining and anxiety-inducing game right off the bat. We've got the LA Kings coming out wearing tinfoil helmets, looking great. No, dumb, stupid, aliens. Despite the fact that they're Area 51 losers, it looks like they're gonna be putting up some problems for us. The LA Kings are really good at clogging up the center. They make it so hard to get shots off. And if you're looking at shots recorded, that first period was not a good look for the New York Rangers in terms of shots off. What are they, two, three, maybe? Big shout out to uh, Brendan Lemieux, former Ranger in the first period for that Boarding, five-minute major. Thanks, Ben. We really, really appreciate the fact that you gave us the opportunity to get Chris Kreider in front of the net to get his 30th goal of the season and to put the Rangers up one and get the ball rolling. So you're doing great, Brendan Lemieux. Love it. Keep it up. New York Rangers on the power play. Chris Kreider, you know, he's going to score no matter what, it seems. And that's what he did in the first period. Chris Kreider gets the goal scoring started in a beautiful power play goal, which was his 30th goal of the season, which puts him in first place for goals scored in the entire league, which also means I lost a bet to my dad and I have to wash his car. I will wash everybody's car if it means that these guys are going to be scoring 30 plus goals per season. We're not even halfway through the season. So Chris Kreider gets it going and then we're back again. Back again in the second period, not getting a lot of shots off. Jonathan Wick put up quite a few highlight reel saves. He put the team on his back in many instances throughout that game last night. And we close up the second period being down one. The Kings got two off on Chessie. And while I was hoping to see the Rangers maybe make it to the third period with a tie, it didn't happen that way. So of course we have to sit there and worry about it the whole time. Barclay Goudreau ties it up. Ties it up in the third and we're going to OT. Now this was a strange OT. I'm just going to go right ahead and say I kind of like Four on four, overtime. Four on four hockey is pretty good to watch. Somehow, the whistle did not get blown at all the entire overtime. So it was played basically four on four the whole time, which was rad. Love that. And here we go into a shootout. <sighs> I had to shut the TV off. It's not just a matter of hockey play. At that point, it's an all-star skills competition. Thank goodness, after the sixth round... With Shesty standing on his head, Jonathan Quick kind of standing on his head, we've got Adam Fox coming in and wrapping it up for us. So the New York Rangers take the win over the LA Kings. That puts them in first place in the Metro, puts them in fourth place overall, and puts them in the position of having four, four, one, two, three, four, four players in the NHL's top 25 point scorers this season thus far. Four dudes. Ask me any other team that has four. The answer is zero. None. Fox. Kreider, Panarin, and Zibanejad, those four New York Rangers are all sitting pretty in the top 25 for points scored. Stoked to see what comes next. New York Rangers are on a roll right now. I love seeing the confidence boost in all of the players. So the New York Rangers are back at it again on Thursday on the road against the Columbus Blue Jackets, which doesn't seem, again, to be that much of a crazy team in terms of how much pressure they're going to put on. It's not like they're playing the Avalanche, but still need the win, still need to keep the energy and the confidence rolling. So Thursday night, Columbus Blue Jackets, hopefully right after that game, I'll be able to hop on here again with just as big of a smile on my face. Let's go Rangers. Thank you guys so much for coming through. I really appreciate everybody who's come through, subscribe, like all that. Make sure you leave in the comments some uh, things you want to see. We have the all-star break coming up. And I want to put out some fun content with everybody. But in the meantime, everybody just go to Twitter and say thank you so much, Adam Fox, for everything that you've done. We appreciate you. Because uh, we do. Now, check out the glove drop on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter while you're over there. TikTok has been blowing up just a bit. I'm going to have a few more TikToks coming up which incorporate Adam Fox uh, top shelf stuff. So we'll see how that goes. I will see you guys all in the next one. Let's go Rangers. Da -da -da.